Hi guys, it's Bill, uh, Mr. WM2800. Uh, today's Tuesday, we're in Kodiak, and uh, I had filmed the museum, which was, I had filmed a little bit of outside, and I filmed the museum, and when I tried to upload it, it said it was too much, I can't go over 10 minutes. So it's better I give you as much of the museum as I can, because that's really the best that you're going to see. Uh, Kodiak is bear country, and if I had loads of money, I could have gone on some kind of an adventure which would show us bears, which I'd love to do for you, but this old man is broke, and I can't do it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'm doing the best I can. So I had hoped to show you a little bit of outside, and I had put that into the project, and I've just had to delete it out of the project in order to get it below 10 minutes, or it will not upload. Pain in the butt. So uh, that's the deal. Um... So we're not going to have a whole lot of Kodiak here, but we're really just going to have the museum and, and me talking to you right now. That's it. Case closed. And uh, uh, we still have more coming up, though, as I keep talking about the train ride. That's coming up in a couple of days. Tomorrow we'll be at sea all day. There'll be no uploading. I can't do anything out in the middle of the ocean. Um, so the next upload will probably be the day we go to on the train. And that should be really exciting. That's We're going three hours in country, as I recall. So... Um, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed anyway. I put also some pictures, still pictures up on my Facebook, WM2800. Very similar to YouTube, except minus the MR. On YouTube, it's MRWM200. On Facebook, it's simply WM2800. And I've got well over 200, probably getting close to 300 now, pictures from the trip up on Facebook. And once again, I will tell you, in my opinion, my pictures have actually come out better than my video, and I've had some decent video I think not bad but I think my pictures are, are better and are more enjoyable really quite frankly all right God bless keep watching uh, and we'll catch you bye bye now but hang in there for the next portion there's about 10 minutes nine minutes of this uh, museum and uh, I think you'll find it interesting they're nice people five dollars to get in if you want if you happen to be in the area it's five bucks to get in it's worth the five bucks all right Bigger houses with lots of side rooms of each family living in a side room. 
related families living in one house. But here you sort of see these tiny side rooms are just, these are the oldest houses that have them. And they're, and they're kind of neat, they're kind of very small. And uh, later in time, the, the tunnel become much more elaborate with coal traps and everything. So it's sort of neat to see these sort of proton multi-room houses. It took the team nearly four weeks to excavate 84 cubic meters of prehistoric midden by hand. It took them less than two days to shovel the dirt and ash back into their holes and cover them with sod. A year from now, it will be hard to tell where they excavated. Grasses and herbs will regrow, covering the excavation as they once covered the remains of Horseshoe Coast, a Olympic village. collected at Horseshoe Cove were taken back to the Olympic Museum's laboratory in Kodiak for study. In the lab, technicians cleaned all the artifacts and dried the many samples of animal bone and charcoal, then carefully numbered and described each piece to catalog the finds. In the coming months, the museum will write a report on the finds, use the collection to create a gallery display, give a public lecture on the project, and create an excavation web page to share results. The artifacts will be stored in the museum's collection room produced by students, artists, researchers, and future museum programs. Horseshoe Cove is just one of the many unique archaeological sites in the Kodiak Archipelago, each with its own story to tell. <laughs> 